Hello, my name is Rita Horner. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager for the Mixed Signal IP Group. And I'm John Stonick, a Synopsys Fellow with the Solutions Group. John, a while back we talked about spread spectrum clocking. But what is this new SRIS I'm hearing about in PCIe? Well, that's a new usage model that's been recently defined by the PCI SIG. SRIS stands for Separate Reference Clock Independent Spread. As we can see in this diagram, the different architectures that are used to deliver the reference clock to the systems, there are three definitions now. Common clock architecture, where the reference clock is sent to both ends of the link, and even though that clock is spread, since it's delivered to both ends of the link, it is a synchronous system. A data clock architecture, where the reference clock may or may not be sent to the far end of the link, in that application, the receiver does not use the reference clock in its CDR, but that reference clock may be used by the rest of the system. And then the newly defined SRIS use model, where there is a separate reference clock at each end of the link, and each of those reference clocks has spread spectrum on it. So why did PCI SIG need to introduce this new use model after 11 years? What the PCI SIG wanted to do was to enable new cable-based PCIe solutions that didn't require expensive EMI RFI containment solutions. And a secondary benefit of this can be seen if we look at the diagram describing a typical PCI Express interconnect that's in use today. In these systems, the reference clock is generated locally on the host board and distributed to every board in the system. That's a lot of clock routing. If those systems converted to an SRS type of an architecture, they would not have to route that reference clock and would save a lot of valuable board space. So will all existing PCIe Phi automatically work with this new use model? No. Unfortunately, for some solutions that are only have only been developed for either common clock architecture, those phi's may not be able to handle a independent <coughs> spread on the reference clock. But fortunately, Synopsys IP has a, lot of, has a lot of experience in dealing with these types of systems through their USB and SATA offerings. So how similar is the SSC in SRIS to what is used in USB or SATA? They're very similar, Rita. If we look at the following table comparing the three standards, we see that the spreading range, the spreading rate, and the maximum slew rate are the same for all three standards. What that means to us is that all of our previous experience with SSC in SATA and USB directly applies to the PCIe SRIS use model. Thank you, John, for all the information and great insight. This new SRIS capability should allow customers to use PCIe for many new applications. Thank you, Rita.